Hey guys, today we're going to make a quick recipe, but because it's quick, it doesn't mean that it's gonna be easy because it requests a little bit of a technique. We're gonna make cashew and pepper, and I'm gonna show you the ingredients right now. We have so, tagliatella, this is from Gragnano, uh, I got this from Italy. Then I have, of course, uh, for the cashew, my pecorino romano cheese. We're gonna use a lot of it because it's made just by two ingredients. And black pepper. And uh, of course, uh, we're also going to have uh, our best friend, uh, extra virgin olive oil. I start, uh, take some black pepper and I'm gonna cut some myself. Just cut it, I wanna keep it a little bit thick. I don't wanna see you add any whipped cream or butter or milk, anything like that, just pecorino romano. So I always said a quick recipe, so I'm gonna start to put my olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. And I like to add different sizes of black pepper, so the one that I cut with the knife are gonna be bigger than the one I'm gonna ground. Like this. So our extra virgin olive oil is going to get a nice aroma of black pepper. I put my stove on a medium, the time that it get a nice aroma. So guys, we got our water boiling and now we're going to shave the pecorino romano. We're gonna shave a lot of it. Make it very like, it has to look like powder. So it melts uh, very easy. It doesn't have to melt like the mozzarella on your pizza. It has to melt and get that nice creamy look that we really like. So we start. What a work. Ooh. Big piece, we don't want to put this. It's very good. This is a pecorino romano that aged for nine months. So it's not too salty and it's a little bit sweet. Yeah, it's for two people and it's not enough. Right. Water is boiling, my oil is going, and now we're gonna put just a little bit on sal of salt in the pasta, but not too much because the pecorino romano is famous for being salty. So, no over salted. Okay, this, the oil seems ready, so we're gonna turn it off. This is a tagliatella that requires a little bit of time to cook, about 13 minutes, but we're gonna cook it for eight minutes and then we're gonna finish to cook it on our pan. It's quite not done yet, so we're gonna wait probably one more minute. So it's at eight, we're gonna do nine. Okay, our pasta is done, so we're gonna shut this off. We're gonna turn our stove on, on a medium. Probably on a medium high. See now, now this is what I want to happen. All the starch from the pasta is going to melt and it's gonna get together with the sauce. And it's gonna become creamy. Just keep it there for about two minutes because you need to finish to cook. Pan hot. Help yourself with a little bit of water, the starch water. So our pasta doesn't get dry. See how it's slippery on the pan? It has the effect you always want. Alabama. See, see how the starch is going on the pan? The pasta is absorbing the flavor of the olive oil and the black pepper. And soon we are going to whisk it, mantecare, with the pecorino romano cheese. Water. Now it's all about temperature. Let's wait a little bit that it get cold and that way the pecorino romano is going to melt. It's gonna make that creamy that we really like and we wanna put our fork in there and lick our dish. Some water and I start. Pecorino romano. and the whisk. If it gets dry, help yourself with a little bit of water. The temperature of the pasta is gonna be hot enough to melt our cheese. That's why we take it off the stove. But we want more, so just a tiny bit of water. 
un pecorino I don't know who invented this dish it was a chef from Roma but I just want to tell him thank you thank you for making this dish follow the music read me Look how cream is getting. It's beautiful. It's called uh, cashew pepper, so we have to add black pepper. See, the dish become almost gray because we have the white of the cheese and the black of the pepper, and they melt together. This is the consistency that I want. We try to make it pretty, but this is no restaurant. Oh my God, it looks amazing. Look at that cream. Look what we can make from powder. Look what we can make, look at this. From powder to this, unbelievable. Now I have to try it and this is my favorite part, of course. It's such a strong flavor with all the black pepper and the cheese. Oh my God, it's amazing. It's amazing. Guys, you really have to try this one. It's an authentic, classic Italian recipe. Buon appetito. Mwah. Did you like this recipe? If you did, put a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and to tell to your friends how easy it is to make real Italian dishes.